get everyone be Asian Day here. I thought I actually might create a quick video regarding about the Precision 5550 and the Precision 7550. I know a lot of my viewers are actually considering these two computers. Now this video is a result of some of my findings I found when I was testing these two computers here. Now it's more to do with the performance and actually the thermals of these two computers here. Now and I didn't actually want this results actually lost in another video there so that's why I actually wanted to create a separate video for this. I've got the two computers now running stress tests for over 30 minutes now and I've set the actual stress test to have the CPU load at 70% and the GPU load at 100%. Now the reason for the 70% for the CPU is because you've got to give it some time to give instructions to the GPU so hence why I've set this load for the CPU at 70%. I've got the Dell Position 5550 on the left and I've got the Dell Position 7550 on the right. Now first off, uh, I made sure in the Dell Power Manager, now this is a new application there that Dell have produced for the latitudes and also the positions. The one that we're really, really interested in is this thing here called Thermal Management. Now normally this is a uh, setting in BIOS, but now they've actually made it, you can actually access it through a software. So you actually can change these power thermal settings on the fly without having to reboot the computer, which is absolutely fantastic there. So according to Dell, the ultra performance will actually unlock more voltages as well as uh, letting the fan run at its course at its maximum speed. So you can actually not have to worry too much about acoustics and just let the processor run at, it, at what it wants to be at. So we can actually see how that goes. So I'm just gonna minimize the Dell power management there. Now, I've actually noticed, I'm gonna start off the 5550 first. So let's go and zoom in for that one there. And let's just talk a little bit more about its processor first off is at the moment is the i7 one with the 10850H. Now the base clock is meant to be at 2.7 gigahertz. Now running this for about 30 minutes, you'll start to see there's actually a fair bit of thermal throttling for the CPU here. Uh, and it's actually running at one gigahertz now, uh, which is actually even more worse than before. Uh, it is, it was before around about 1.7 and it was stable there uh, until just now when it hits about a little bit more than 31 minutes now. I noticed around about 13 minutes mark is when you actually lose a lot of turbo boost from around about 3.7 gigahertz and it will go all the way down to 1.7 gigahertz around about there. So that's starting to lose, it's starting to actually not be able to keep up with the, the thermals on the actual computer itself, it's not keeping up with that at all. Um, so that's been running and the GPU is still actually now starting to come down as well too for the processing there. So interesting enough there. Now let's go have a look at what the, how the 7550 is faring here. So again, we've got the, a little bit slowest processor here. It is a i7 10750H and its base clock is 2.6 gigahertz. Now, like I said, it's also running for, and it's pretty, pretty stable the whole entire time since, since the first minute all the way to now and it still is running around about 4.7 gigahertz. Now that is amazing. And I can definitely tell you it has not, it hasn't changed too much and all, especially with the touch of the keyboard, it is uh, pretty amazing. I could not believe that the Precision 5550 was actually struggling to get even base clock speed. So I actually performed the test a number of times on the Precision 5550, and all, most of the times the results were came down to between 15 to 20 minutes. It would then pretty much throttle all the way down to nearly about two gigahertz or 1.7 gigahertz there. So. I was very surprised by that, and that's with the processor and the graphics pretty much on load there. So I actually then performed a test of just separately, with just the, only the processor on load without having the graphics running at all. And it pretty much was stable at around about 3.7 gigahertz for the Precision 5550. And again, with the Precision 7550, it was not even struggling at all. That was a very, very stable 4.17 gigahertz. So that was absolutely fantastic from the performance of the Precision 7550. If your task is crunching a lot of numbers and a lot of data over long periods of time, especially over 30 minutes, then I definitely recommend the Precision 7550. You're gonna get some really good performance out of that and it is really stable performance as well. 
Whereas if you're only needing burst speed or even just performance up to like around about 15 to 30 minutes, then definitely the Precision 5050 can definitely do you fine there. But definitely if you're going to run more than 30, 15 minutes, beware that you are going to be losing a bit of performance due to the thermals of this computer here. Now I hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it. Give it a like if you haven't done already. Subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button on the bottom screen. I do upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.